On Pokemon, you get your starter Pokemon, you build your team, and you defeat the champion. But there are some secret areas you might have missed. So what are those? How's it going everyone? My name is JJ, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you some secret areas you might have missed on Pokemon Emerald. On Route 119, you would have ran past this bridge and waterfall, and maybe thought to yourself, you'd come back here when you've got the HM, but then straight up forgot. So on the water, surf to the waterfall and then use the waterfall to climb it. Once here, we can get on our acrid bike and do some jumps along these beams. And at the back is the secret base location, as well as some other beams towards a rare candy. As well as another very well hidden secret base. Did you know you can surf from route 103 to route 112 in seconds, cutting out so much travel time once you get surf after defeating your dad? Speaking of defeating your dad, once we've done that, we can find Watson outside of his gym in Marvel City and talk to him will grant access to new Marvel, which is a small power plant a short surf east of Marvel. In here you can find electrodes as well as a thunderstone. From Mosh Deep City, surf onto Route 124, then go past the first diveable patch of water and then use dive on the second one. Follow the path underwater down to this area and then resurface. Once here, go to the left and use dive once again on the spot and then go to the left and resurface at the end. Now you are in a very segregated area with a Pokeball. Inside that Pokeball is a green shard which can be traded with this guy on Route 124 for a Leaf Stone. Over on Juford Island, surf north back towards Petalburg City, but stay towards the left hand side of the route. Over here you'll find an alignment of sandy islands, items and trainers, all hidden away. Just here is a big pool and then north a little more you can find a cave where Reg Ice is. One of the most infamous hidden gems in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire and Emerald is the trainer on the Psychopath and because of its fame I had to include it. Go to the Psychopath from Marvel City and then before you actually go onto the Psychopath, go to the right a little more and then you'll come across a trainer who is hiding away. The battle isn't particularly difficult, especially when you've got a level 83 Swampert, but it's something interesting nevertheless. If you surf north of Mosh Deep City, you'll come across the Shoal Cave. Providing the tide is low, if you head inside and then go down the stairs and go through the hole in the back of the wall, then head up these stairs and then go down this ladder which is to the right. Now go up the zigzag stairs and then up the next ladder. Now we're going to go across this long bridge towards the left. Head down and then go back along this next bridge to the right. Then head upwards and go down the next ladder. Head over to the right and then move the boulder out of our way. And then you'll see a ladder below you going down. So head down that. And now you're in the ice room which is the base floor of the Shell Cave. In here you can find a Snorunt who evolves into Glalie as well as the Never Melt Ice item. Finally if you head north of Rustborough City onto Route 115 and then you surf and keep to the left a little, you'll come to a small island. On here you can find trainers as well as the Kelpsy Berries which are rare, secret base locations and tall grass and in that tall grass you can find Jigglypuff. So there are 8 hidden places you can find on Pokemon Emerald. There will be so many more so I just included 8. Which areas are your favourite and which areas did I not include? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new around here then I post simple Pokemon guides for all different Pokemon games so be sure to check them out. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.